Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Last time, we talked about what kind of properties the universe has, and before that, we discussed how the universe is created by something else, something eternal. This time, I thought it would be a good idea to ask another question. We know some of the properties the universe has, but what are the properties of the universe's creator? I'll be using deductive proofs for a lot of this, taking general knowledge and drawing specific conclusions from it. Question number one. Is the creator a part of the universe? We know that nothing can create itself, because then it would need to exist before itself, which is impossible. We also know that the creator made the universe, and therefore everything in it. So our first conclusion, from these two statements, is that the creator is not a part of the universe. Got the method figured out? Okay, I'll speed up now, so try to keep up. Question two, is the creator in time? As we said in episode 11, the universe contains all of time. The creator is not in the universe. Therefore, the creator is not in time. Question three, is the creator in space? The universe contains all of space. The creator is not in the universe. Therefore, the creator is not in space. Question four, is the creator material? The universe contains all matter. The creator is not in the universe. Therefore, the creator is not material. Okay, so the creator is non-temporal, non-spatial, and non-material. But the universe is temporal, spatial, and material. These things seem pretty different from each other, don't they? Usually in nature, when something reproduces or creates something else, the two things are pretty similar. For example, a fox makes baby foxes, but they're all still foxes. A chicken makes baby chickens, but they're all still chickens. Trees, crystals, fire, everything reproduces after its kind, with one exception. As we mentioned in episode 9, clockmakers sometimes make clocks. In general, people tend to make a lot of things that aren't people. For example, books, paintings, and cartoons. Humans do this, but no other animals do. This is because human beings are intelligent and creative. Question 5. Is the creator intelligent? Only intelligent beings create anything fundamentally different from themselves. The universe is fundamentally different from the creator of the universe. Therefore, the creator of the universe is intelligent. Question 6. Is the creator powerful? It requires enormous power to create the universe. The creator created the universe. Therefore, the creator is powerful. Question 7. Is the creator unified? Among intelligent beings, only a unified effort can create something precise and organized. As we saw last episode, the universe is incredibly precise and organized. Therefore, the creator is unified. Of course, this is all simple logic, and it doesn't take much effort to figure out. Now for something a little more advanced. Question 8. Does the creator communicate? Creative expression is a form of communication. The creator exercised creative expression by creating the universe. Therefore, the creator communicates. Question 9. Are the properties and actions of the creator eternal? Properties are part of the being that possesses them, and actions are things which a being does over time. The creator is not in time. Therefore, the properties and actions of the creator are also not in time, and, like itself, are eternal. Question 10. Is the communication of the creator eternal? All the properties and actions of the creator are eternal. Communication is an action of the creator. Therefore, the communication of the creator is eternal. Question 11. Is the creator multiple? Communication only exists between multiple intelligent beings. The creator communicates eternally. Nothing in the universe can be communicated with eternally. Therefore, the creator must have an other self with which to communicate eternally. Therefore, the creator is multiple. So the creator is both one and multiple? Makes sense so far. Only two more questions for now. Question 12. Can the creator produce lies? The creator made the universe. The universe is true because it exists. Things which don't exist are false. The creator can't make things which don't exist. Therefore, the creator can produce truth and can't produce lies. Lastly, question 13. Is the creator God? Honesty is a virtue, and virtues are good. Therefore, since honesty is a property of the creator, goodness is also a property of the creator. The Creator possesses goodness, intelligence, and power. All properties of the Creator are eternal and infinite. The Creator is an eternal being of infinite power, knowledge, and goodness, which created the universe and everything in it. God is an eternal being of infinite power, knowledge, and goodness, which created the universe and everything in it. Therefore, the Creator is God. So what have we learned so far about the Creator of the universe? The Creator is timeless, spaceless, matterless, infinitely powerful, intelligent, honest, and good. The Creator is one and multiple, can't lie, and conforms nicely to the simplest definitions of God. 
So from now on, for the sake of brevity, I'll refer to the Creator with the word God. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.